Hi, I'm Dave Ripley with Zip. What I'm going to show you today is how to change or swap out a cassette body or free hub on a Zip 188 rear hub, as well as at the same time convert one from a SRAM or Shimano compatible system over to a new Campy 11 or a Campy compatible system. Basically, it, it's a simple process. It only requires one tool, a two mil, a two mil hex or a two mil Allen. Um, very first step is you want to remove the non-drive side end cap. It requires no tools. Just take it off. You have some small parts in this process. You want to make sure that you don't lose them. So, so keep them visually in front of you uh, in an obvious place. Okay. Uh, second step you want to do, take that 2 mil Allen and actually back off the, uh, the uh, tightening bolt on the, on the pinch nut or the preload nut. Okay. Just a couple of turns so that it's loose. This is going to allow you to unthread the preload nut, remove it, set it over to the side. Okay, now at this point, the entire axle and free hub uh, body actually will, will remove uh, and come loose. And you have a couple of small parts, so be careful when you're taking this part that you don't lose anything. Okay, on the non drive side, you have the red seal or shield. Take that off, set that over to the side. At this point, you have a loose system. The other small part you need to watch for is the quarter mil spacer that goes in between the two bearings, uh, one being on the cassette body and one being in the hub body itself. Okay, take that off, set that out to the side. At that point, the cassette body can slide right off on its own. Set the cassette body to the side. Last is the drive side shield. Take that off. Now the entire system is disassembled. Okay. Now at that point, the system is completely disassembled. What you will want to do before reassembly is put a liberal amount of grease or, or zip lube, which you'll be able to find on our website, um, in the, the ratchet ring itself. And the small syringe that it comes with, you'll want to apply a small amount all the way around the pawl and leaf spring that you can see independently in here. The, the SRAM or Shimano version would go back on exactly reverse of how I took it off. So this will go on the same way, but I'm going to show you the, the, the Campy conversion. To convert this hub over to the new Campy 11, we had to basically find a way to keep the spacing right because the 11 pushes everything in towards the spokes and to, to reassemble this without your derailleur winding up in the spokes, but also keeping the drive line and dish right on, on the, the wheel itself, we had to figure out how to respace it all. To do that, it requires three, three different components than the SRAM Shimano version does. It requires a different cassette body or free hub, and it's anodized blue, so it can't be mistaken, and obviously it has the campy spline pattern. It takes a different drive side shield, which again, anodized blue, and it takes a different non-drive side end cap, anodized blue. The last thing, which is not different, but it requires one more of, is the quarter mil spacer that goes in between the two bearings. This requires two, as opposed to the SRAM Shimano version requiring one. Okay, to put it all back together, take your axle, take your drive side shield, and uh, reassemble this back on. You'll see there's a radius on the outside and a small ridge on the inside. You want the radius to go out so it goes on first. That small ridge actually is what gives you your preload on the ID of that bearing on the inside. Okay. There's a small O-ring inside this. Just be careful when you take it over those outside threads so that you don't damage it. Okay. Slide that back into place. Now the cassette body itself can go on and it just slides on. It should go on fairly, fairly snugly, but it'll fit. Okay. Uh, with the Campy system, when you are reassembling this, there are two of the quarter mil spacers that go on this system. If you don't put this on, your drive line's going to be, your chain line's going to be off. So make sure you have the two. Put those on. Assemble those over the axle. Okay. Now at this point, you can re uh, reinstall your hub body. What you want to do is you want to take all, three fingers and actually preload all three of those pawls. You're going to be able to reinstall this right over and actually it just drops 
right into place into the hub body. And if you, if you, and if you, you can hear the engagement, you know it's in place. Okay. Now, uh, on, on the non-drive side, you use the same red uh, seal or spacer that came on the SRAM or Shimano system. And when, you, when this goes in, you'll see a small ridge on the inside. That goes against the bearing, so that goes in. Okay, so ridge inside. Now your uh, preload nut can go back on. Thread this back on right to the point where it touches and you can actually feel it start to make contact. At that, at that point, you should still have a good free rotation from there. I'm going to back it off about an eighth of a turn. Take your 2 mil Allen, tighten it back up. Again, this only requires 0.5 Newton meter of crush. So it does not need to be hernia tight. You will break it if you over tighten it, so don't. 0.5 Newton meter, lock that back into place. And the reason that you back that off an eighth of a turn, when you tighten that, those threads actually pull inward. So it slightly pulls it back in and tightens it a little bit more than where you had it in place. Lastly, blue, blue, can't be in in, or non-drive side end cap, put it into place. It's now reassembled and you have a campy rear hub.